we're going to look right now at finding angles and uh, more precisely here we're going to look at finding all angles that meet certain criteria uh, as in if we're given a domain and then given a specific trig ratio to look for so let's have a look at a first example here so this is we're given that sine of theta some angle we don't know or angles could be more than one is uh, 1 over root 2 and then we're asked to look in this domain where theta can be between 0 and 2 pi. So when you're looking for something you're given a ratio here you should try and see if that looks first of all like something you recognize. That is one of those special ratios from a special triangle. So that is something that uh, we can use exact values for and we won't even need to touch our calculator. What we need to do though first of all is think this is the sine and this is a positive ratio. Sine is positive in quadrants. It's actually going to be in more than one, right? If we're allowed to look all the way from 0 to 2 pi, it's going to be in more than one. It's in quadrant 1 and 2. Now before we draw the angle here, we're going to think about this ratio here. 1 over root 2, that's from one of those special triangles that looks more or less like this. That's the one that is 1, 1, root 2. Can you get a sign that's 1 over root 2 out of that? Well, of course you can, right? Because if you're looking at this angle right here, pi over 4, then that's the opposite. That's the hypotenuse, and that's 1 over root 2. So the reference angle here is going to be pi over 4. right? So it's going to be related to pi over 4. So if we were to draw this, we'll draw it so that's 45 degrees, pi over 4. And the two angles we're looking for, one is this. I'm going to call it theta 1. And one is over to here. I'm going to call it theta 2. And then we can pretty much write what those are right away, right? If these were the reference angles in here. Theta 1 is the reference angle, pi over 4. And theta 2. Theta 2 is pi minus that reference angle, 3 pi over 4. So there's actually two angles that meet this criteria as in there's two angles that have a sine of 1 over root 2 within one full turn here. right? So we can just put up at the top here. Theta could be pi over 4 or 3 pi over 4. All right. Now let's look at a second one. So this time we're looking for where cosine is negative 0.4 and we're looking in a bigger domain here because we're looking all the way from one clockwise rotation all the way to one counterclockwise rotation. Now this 0.4 here is not a special ratio of one of those special triangles so we're gonna have to use our calculator for this. First thing we should look at here is cosine is a negative number and think about where our angles are gonna be. Cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. So We're gonna be looking at quadrant 2 and 3. I'm just gonna roughly draw two angles in here. They might not be kind of to scale or anything like that, but it'll at least let us think about what we're looking at here. We need to find our reference angle. To find the reference angle, what we're going to do is we're going to use our calculator and say cosine inverse of positive 0.4. Notice that I don't put the negative in here. It says cosine is negative 0.4, but I'm only putting 0.4 in here because it's a lot easier to put the to not put the negative in so that we know we get a positive acute angle less than 90 less than pi over 2 and then work with that in each of the other quadrants so get our calculator out here and make sure it's in radian mode which it is and we're going to go cosine inverse of 0.4 1.16 if we're going to two decimal places i am going to store that number though on my calculator, you can store it as anything. I'm going to store it as X, just because that's easy to get to. Then I can use that again here. All right. So first of all, I'm just going to put down roughly that that's 1.16 for theta reference. And then I'm going to think about what the angles I'm looking for. One of the angles I'm looking for is right there. I'm going to call that theta 1. Another angle I'm looking for is right here. I'm going to call that theta 2. And then we're also going to be looking for angles that are the other direction as well. right? We're also looking for this angle. I'm going to call that theta 3. 
theta 3 and theta 1 here are going to be just opposites of each other though. So there's not really more to find. And then the same goes for this. That's just going to be the opposite. It's just going to be the negative of this. All right, so we really have two numerical values to find, and then we can write all four angles. Whoops, I erased my theta 4 there. Other than that, we're going to be outside of our domain that we're given. Okay, so we're going to have theta 1 is pi minus theta reference, and theta 2 is going to be pi plus theta reference, quadrant 3. Theta 3 is going to be negative theta 1, and theta 4 is going to be negative theta 2. All right, so we'll have our various angles there once we're done. Let's go back to the calculator and find those. So now, since I stored that number, all I need to do is just recall it here, pi minus x. That gives me that value, 1.98. And then I can do pi plus x. That gives me that value. So I got 1.98 and 4.30. Roughly speaking, I should put a roughly equal to there. 1.98, 4.30. And then the other ones here are just going to be the negative. So negative 1.98 and negative 4.30. All right, so I want to sum it up over here. And if I want to put them in order, not that it matters, but 4.30, negative 1.98, 1.98, 4.30. There's four angles in that domain that work for that for those that given information. All right, let's look at one last one here. We're looking here at where cotangent is negative root three, and we have a domain of zero to four pi. So two full turns in the counterclockwise direction we're looking for. Now we need to think two things here. First of all, we need to think cotangent is negative the same place as tangent is negative and that is in quadrants two and four quadrants two and four we're looking in so we're more or less going to be looking here and here for some angles again i'm just drawing a line in there for reference even though it's maybe not drawn accurately and we're going to be looking for that angle, this angle, and then we can keep going now, right? I'll do them in a different color here because we could go all the way around to there, or we could, this is gonna get my picture pretty crowded here, or we could go all the way around like this to there. Now I'm gonna erase these because these are just the previous two angles plus a full turn. All right, so if I have my first two, theta one and theta two, I'm just gonna put up here that theta three is gonna be theta one plus a full turn. All right, if I do that, and plus two pi, and that theta four is gonna be theta two plus two pi. Or what you might realize is when you're working with tangent, this line, the, the, since they're in opposite quadrants like that, you could actually just take the first one and just keep adding pi to them as you go. All right? But we'll, we'll get to that in a second here. If we're starting with cotangent theta is negative root 3, we need to know that probably it's easier to change it to tangent is negative 1 over root 3 because it's a reciprocal. And that is a number that you might recognize because it's one of those uh, values out of a special triangle. So we have this triangle here, one root three and two. We're looking from this angle. Now we're thinking about how we can get a tangent of one over root three. Well, if this is the opposite and this is the adjacent, then this angle, the smaller angle, 30 degrees or pi over 6 is our angle, is what we're looking for. So I'm going to say theta reference is pi over 6. Now, 
my first angle here, we'll make a list over here. My first angle is going to be pi minus theta reference. My second angle is going to be 2 pi minus theta reference. Or, again, what we could have done is instead of saying theta 2 is, you can get theta 2 by saying all the way around minus the reference angle. Or you can just say it's theta 1 plus pi, right? So you could do it two ways. When you're working with tangent or cotangent, you can just keep on adding multiples of, of uh, pi because you can say there's theta 1 plus another pi is theta 2 plus another pi is theta 3 plus another pi is theta 4, all right? Whichever way you do it, you get the same values. Now, I've written out what they all are here. Now I'm just going to write down what they are in a list. Theta is, start with the first one, pi minus pi over 6 is 5 pi over 6. 2 pi minus pi over 6 is 11 pi over 6. And if I add on 2 pi, so I start with 5 pi over 6, I add on 2 pi, I am going to get 17 pi over 6, right? Because 2 pi is 12 pi over 6, added to the 5, 12 and 5 is 17. And then my next one's going to be 23 pi over 6. All right, so those exact values, all right, exactly equal to that. All right, so that's finding the angle, essentially solving trig equations when you're given a ratio and a domain to look in, all right?